Hey, good morning, YouTube. Checking out the efficiency of this uh, DC to DC boost converter. You can see I'm running about 9.6 amps in at just about 13 volts, so that's 123 watts, 122. It's going through the boost converter. And then here's my output at about 3.8 amps at 29 volts, about 110 watts. So that's right around 90% efficiency. I'm losing about 12 watts in the converter. See everything right there. Coming in at 12 volts and going out at 29 volts. And this is my little virtual solar panel. So it's simulating a 110 watt solar panel right there. It's pumping 110 watts back into a grid tie inverter at this point as my load. You can see the, uh, the input current is staying pretty constant. So I've got the, on the converter I have the output current limit set and the output voltage is higher than the uh, load is taking. Output current stays pretty constant and the input current stays pretty constant as well. So that makes a pretty good DC load if you're looking for something like that. You can just adjust the output current to get the input current you want. Of course, as the input voltage drops, the input current is gonna increase. And it's a pretty simple system. Just all plug and play. I measure temperatures up on the inductor and the heat sink are up around 55 C when I'm running at this mode for an extended time. So they get a little warm. They could probably use a fan on there to uh, keep things cool. But that's only 12 watts of dissipation in the uh, converter versus you know, 110 watts that you'd have to be dissipating if that were a resistor. It's a lot easier to cool a 12 watt device than a 120 watt device. So you can see there I'm pumping 120 watts out of my battery bank as a load, but I'm only dissipating about 12 watts. It'd be nice if it were a little higher efficiency, but I guess that's kind of what you get. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you everything working. My two meters, 122 input, 110 output, it's kind of a cloudy day, but my 110 watt virtual panel is putting out 110 watts and I'll show you the sky here. So here's the uh, overcast sky and my virtual panel puts out 110 watts no matter what the sky looks like. That's a much more predictable solar panel, but what I'm doing is I'm taking about 900 watts of panels combining those and producing basically a single 110 watt panel out of the whole combination. Technically I could, you know, swap all those panels over to the uh, grid tie inverter. That would be another option, but you know, it's kind of hard switching panels around. You could you could add switches and relays, but it's still unpredictable how much power you're going to get. Where this way, it's like I know exactly when I flip that switch on, I get exactly 110 watts.